Okay, so we have this triangle here, or something that maybe is not a triangle, but, you know, obviously we have a triangle, and it has sides 8, 2, and 11. So that kind of seems like, uh, in reality, that this, you know, might be the actual measurements. You know, it's not anything outlandish, but in fact, this is impossible, okay? You can never have a triangle with these measurements, but why, okay? Why is this impossible? Uh, now, you know, what could you do to kind of prove this? Well, you could get like three little like straight sticks or something like that, you know, one uh, 11 inches long, the other two inches long, and the other one like eight inches long. And, you know, kind of take those things and kind of manipulate them around. Maybe you take that little two inch guy and we'll kind of like put it this way and then see if this eight inch uh, one would kind of connect. But you might find yourself in a situation where when you're messing around with these three lengths, you might be like, mm, I can't, you know, close the triangle or uh, if you do close a triangle, it's going to be like be sticking out this way. So hmm, how do we know whether, in fact, uh, these uh, measurements, sides of a tri of uh, three sides of a triangle, are actual uh, lengths? And is it possible to actually have a real triangle with three lengths? This is something you need to know. And there is an awesome, very important geometry theorem that uh, helps us out here. So we're going to explain this exactly why this is impossible in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can uh, check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus uh, different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. Going to be launching pre-calculus here, uh, pre here shortly. Very excited about that because I love advanced math. But I also have a ton of courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for uh, the GED, HiSET, TASC, ACCUPLACER, um, CLEP exam, SAT, ACT, ALEX, um, let's see what else is there, uh, teacher certification exam, like the Praxis exam or nursing school entrance exam, GRE, GMAT, ASRAP. Anyways, there's a ton of ex exams out there. They all have a considerable amount of math on them. Okay. And if you don't do well in the math section, you do not do well in the exam. So, uh, if you're studying for some sort of an exam, go to my website. Again, the link is in the description of this video and check out my full course catalog. It should have what you uh, need. Now, if I do not, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a, I have a great homeschool learning uh, program. And then obviously I help those of you that are just struggling in your uh, math classes. Now, if you're serious about wanting to improve in math and learn math, now i got to ask you, are you serious? Because if you're not serious, then just disregard this piece of advice. But if in fact you are serious, then you got to be serious about this. you got to take great math notes. So over decades of teaching math, it's apparent to me that those students who take great math notes, this is a daily thing. They're working hard. They're paying attention. They're neat. They're organized. You know, they're, you know, really putting a lot of effort into the notes. Guess what? These students always look like this at the end of the year. Uh, and then the reverse is true. Those students who like to uh, talk in class, look at their cell phone, uh, maybe do homework in another class, just, you know, all the stuff that I did way back in the good old 1980s. Well, typically they look like this, you know, at the end of the year, and they're like, why? Why did this happen to me? Well, because they don't have great notes. Matter of fact, if they were like me back in the good old days, they had no notes, and they were kind of semi-expecting that. And sometimes they're like, I'm just not good at math, so I'm not even going to take notes. Listen, I'm telling you right now, everyone can do very, very well, very well in math, but you're going to have to work hard every day. You got to do your part. Okay, so take great notes, and you'll go from this person to this person. Believe me. Okay. All right, but in the meantime, you still need some reference material to study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into why this is impossible as a triangle. Now, I'm going to give you a triangle that is a real triangle. Let me just sketch it out. This is a lovely right triangle right here. Uh, three, four, five. We call this a Pythagorean uh, triple, but it's a right triangle. This is a real deal lengths. And now we could uh, prove this, by the way. A squared uh, plus B squared is equal to C squared. 
Uh, so these little uh, sides right here are A and B. So 3 squared plus 4 squared. Is that equal to 5 squared? Well, this is 9 plus 16. Is that equal to 25? 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 is equal to 25. So in fact, this is a uh, special type of triangle called a right triangle. Okay, With This little theorem here, this is the Pythagorean theorem. It applies to right triangles only. Now, the... the uh, triangle that we're looking at right here is not a right triangle, so we cannot um, use the Pythagorean theorem on this. Okay, so but no problem. We got another cool theorem, but just I'm I'm doing this as a kind of uh, you know tying in uh, some other things that you might have learned about triangles at this level of math or geometry. So, but why is this a triangle? Well, I just showed you. Okay, uh, this is follows the Pythagorean theorem, it's definitely a right triangle, but there's another thing that tells us that these could very well be the lengths of a right triangle, and, and here it is. It's called the Triangle Inequality Theorem, okay? Triangle Inequality Theorem, and this is the way it uh, works. It says any two lengths, okay, of an actual triangle, okay, any two lengths, you now when you add them up, okay, so let's do, add these guys up right here, five plus three, uh, when you add up any two sides, it will always be greater than the remaining side. So 5 plus 3, that's greater than 4. All right, let's do another one. How about this one right here? Take these sides. 4 plus 3, is that greater than 5? Yes. All right, so 5 plus 3, that's 8. That's 8 is greater than 4. 4 plus 3, that's greater than 5. And uh, then obviously we have this last one right here. 5 plus 4. That is greater than 3. So when you have um, a triangle, an actual triangle, whatever the lengths are, okay, doesn't even have to be a right triangle, the triangle inequality theorem follows, okay? Any two sides, when the sum of any two sides is always going to be greater than that uh, last remaining side, okay? So now, knowing that, we can go ahead and see why this is impossible, all right, but let's go ahead and start off. Here we go, 11 plus 2. All right, 11 plus 2. Are you greater than 8? Yes, 11 plus 2 is greater than 8, so that's 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 good, okay? How about 11 and 8? Are you greater than 2? Well, obviously, 11 plus 8 is greater than 2. That's uh, no problem. But how about 8 plus 2? All right, is 8 plus 2, is that greater than 11? No, 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 that's not... The case, so you cannot this this uh, triangle. This is not actual. These aren't are not the actual lengths of a triangle. We couldn't form this. So really, what you would end up happening is you would have like your two would be like right here. You couldn't close the triangle. Now you're saying, well, I can fix this up. I can swing that two over like like right here. Okay, but what am I end up um, end up with something like that? That's like an arrow. That's not a triangle. And you're like, well, okay, maybe if I have my 2 like this and I bring this 11 down, well, maybe, but you're going to end up with something like that, all right? So uh, the actual uh, sides of a triangle are very, very important, and you need to understand the triangle inequality, okay? You're going to come across this question. Now, there's other uh, version of it um, uh, that we use in algebra. The tri triangle inequalities are very, very important. Okay, but this is like it's one of these little sneaky theorems that you learn uh, in geometry. Most people are going to be familiar with this, but the triangle inequality, you know, right here, you know, this is going to come up, especially on, on standardized tests. I've seen uh, questions like this on the SAT uh, and ACT or any other standardized uh, standard. Uh, dies, uh exam, okay? Yeah, very well. But any any math course, all right? This is just good stuff, and it's not complicated, all right? So now you can go uh, and uh, go home, all right? Tell, your, I don't know, your mom or dad, your best friend, just call them up, be like, hey, why is this impossible? You know, and, you know, uh, see if they know. Well, what's the chances of they know? Oh, I don't know, maybe they're watching my videos as well. What if they tell you? That would be kind of crazy, right? Uh, so anyways, the bottom line is this you got to find math interesting. It doesn't have to be all drudgery, okay? There's a lot of cool stuff in math, and that's my job is to try to get you excited about learning this stuff. So if you thought, thought this video was interesting in some small way, 
Well, I would find it interesting if you smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new uh, new to my uh, YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time, 10 plus years. Have a, over a thousand videos by this time, basic to advanced mathematics. So if you like my teaching style, okay, those videos are there for you, and I'm posting new content all the time. Okay, so you know there's no reason why you can't do well in math. All right, whatever your starting point is, you got to do your part, right? Take great math notes, talk to your math teacher. But if you need additional instruction, let me help you out. If you like my teaching style, my goal. Okay, is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way, in a way that anyone can understand, all right, without watering it down. So if you like my teaching style, you know, uh, please uh, keep following me because I'm going to be cranking out content almost on a daily basis. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.